Hey, I have a quick little workaround here for Lightworks. When you have a clip or a series of frames that you want to slow down or speed up, but it's in front of some work that you've already done. And a lot of times, pretty much all, all the time, um, when you go ahead and speed or slow down up a particular clip like this one here that the mouse is on, it'll slide everything or pull everything under it, and, but it'll leave some of your effects um, in the same position. It'll also do that with titles. Um, it'll leave them up there. Um, it can also leave other uh, uh, frames if you have multiple tracks. So it really can just jack up your whole thing. So a really easy workaround for this. And here's an example. So I want to I want to speed this part up. It's at six percent. I want to make it even slower. Um, actually, slower, not speed it up. But it's going to make it bigger. So anyway, two percent. See how this is nice and lined up where I need it. Oh, now it's all jacked up. And it's not just that that's jacked up. It's done it to the entire thing. Everything is off. So I'd have to go back and, and now move every one of these things down back where I had them. So control Z, control Z, undo, control Z again. All right. And did I have a gap there? Oh, yeah, I do. I had a gap there. Okay, so that's where everything was at. Yeah, there's a title lined up. So, quick, easy workaround. Um, I've got the part here, still selected. And I want to slow down. Um, zoom in. Pull it out. Put it back. Go to this mark right here. Go to and clear your marks. Then put that one back, so it's the left one. Zoom out. Go all the way to the end of your stuff. You don't have to be right on that frame. Just on it or past it. Do your other mark and then just click one of these that's not going to drag you know these these yellow these white marks that turn to yellow so just grab something here i've noticed it's helpful if you go up and then just go over all right and now make sure you clear your marks again it's real important because it'll it can mess up your things now back over here you can't even see because it's so small but there's what i wanted to work with Okay, now you need to bring it over here. And so it's so tiny. Here, here's another quick little thing that it's hard to bring that over there. You can just make a mark, make a mark on the other side of it, right click, do make, copy, marked section, puts it right up here. Then you can do whatever you want. Just trash that, clear your tags. Okay, we're zooming out. Here's the Part. Yeah, see that's how tiny it is. All right, now I'm gonna do my speed, speed up or down, whatever you want to do. I'm putting it all the way down to two. So resize, do it. Pushes that up. Doesn't jack with any of the rest of your clip. All of this is exactly where it was and where I want it. And then again, so it, you know it's really hard to drag this. Actually, I got it. I was lucky there. I got it and dragged it over. But if you can't, then you can put your tags on it again like I did. Uh, make a copy of it. It'll put it back up here under another copy on top of that one. You can put it back down where you want. Now when I go in here, close gap. Close gap. Now I've got my slowed down part without jacking up the rest of my video. So... Hopefully that's a helpful tip to somebody out there in the world.